Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda and today we are going to be doing a cash envelope stuffing. So if you did not see my most recent video, I did plan out my May monthly budget for this like little paycheck in my micro happy notes. So I'm going to be using these amounts to go ahead and fill in my spreadsheets. But let's just go ahead and dive right in. So to start with our cash envelopes, we're going to go ahead and fill out the top of the spreadsheet. So we are in May. And the paycheck, I'm just gonna leave it blank because I don't have an actual like study job, so this isn't gonna be like paycheck one since I'm not gonna get one next week anyway. Like I probably won't. So our income, I'm just gonna put the amount we are budgeting, which is 243. So we're gonna go ahead and cross out pets and entertainment. These are no longer um, cash envelopes. They are just sinking funds. So I didn't make changes before I printed them. So that's why they're still there. All of these starting amounts are also zero. So let's just go ahead and put that. So now for what we budgeted, food is $30, which means the total is 30. Um, personal, so on here I put $30. I did plan to give myself $50 and then I had spent $20 before filming this and kind of like making my actual spread. But we're just going to put $30 still and then when I do my month or my weekly check-ins, I'm still going to put an expense there. It's just the total like won't change because that $20 I spent came out before filling my envelopes. If we're just going to go ahead and put $30 anyway. If I need to, I'll go ahead and explain again later when we're doing weekly check-ins. But groceries is getting 15. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is just add up all of these amounts. So we have 30 plus 30 plus 15. So it was $75 in both of these. So now that our cash envelope little spreadsheet is done, um, this breakdown corresponds with that. So like the top row is the food, second is personal, and third is groceries. Um, we're going to go ahead and move on to our sinking funds. So again, we're going to put a line here, circle May, and then take 243 minus 75. So, so we have 168 left. So now what we're gonna do is flip over to our sinking fund page and fill in these amounts. So these amounts are gonna go under adding. I'm gonna write all of these first and then we'll go through and check our starting amounts. I really do think the only one that has something in it is gifts and Christmas. Um, actually, before we get started with that, I need to go ahead and write in the two that I added, which is pets and entertainment. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and write the adding amount, and then I will be back to check the starting. So I just made a really stupid error for entertainment. I wrote 20, which again was the full amount that I had originally budgeted for that, but I spent 17, so I have three left, and three is what I wrote on here. It's the same exact thing that happened with the personal, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move this one line down just so that it's not like too messy. So. Again, I'll make this make sense um, during weekly check-ins when and if we're able to do those. So please just go ahead and bear with me. I'm not exactly sure if I'm supposed to be writing the full amount or the amount I'm actually putting in. So if you guys have any answer to that, please let me know. If not, I'll just try to figure something out or just stop spending before I even pull the money out. So now I'm going to just bring out my sinking funds to go ahead and count any starting amounts. So here's my little note to myself that I added to sinking funds. So travel doesn't have anything, emergency doesn't. These all should be empty. Oh wait, okay. So entertainment 
does have an amount. It has one dollar. So let's put that under starting. Gifts and Christmas should also have something. Yeah, so this one has a 20. Electronics should also be empty. Medical, Disney, and soon. okay. Yeah. So these are all empty. So everything else is just starting with zero. So the total starting amount is $21. The adding should be 168. So let's go ahead and add that. So 60 plus 20. Perfect. So we're adding in 168. Now for these totals, so this should be 80. And now for the total of the totals. <laughs> so 80 plus. So 189. So just to double check that 189, I'm going to go ahead and add these. So 168 plus 21. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and bring out my money. And we're just going to go ahead and like count it as well as fix the bills because they're a little messed up. So let me do that first. going to go ahead and add this it should be 243 I have counted it several times just because I don't want to leave the bank with the wrong amount of money so 50 70 90 110 120 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 200 to 10 to 15 to 20 to 25 to 30 to 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 so we have 150 320s. 20. We should have 10 tens. Five fives. And eight ones. So we're going to start with the actual cash envelopes themselves. So for food, we are getting $30. So I put three tens. So 10, 20, 30 for food. Oh, <laughs> that was a total fail. Did you literally see that? Wow. So next is personal. Personal is also getting three tens. So 10, 20, 30. And lastly, we have groceries, which is getting a 15. So 15. So that is all three of my cash envelopes. Let's just go ahead and put them where they go. So now for sinking funds, this one I'm gonna go ahead and move the paper over here to the side. That way it's just kind of easier for me to see. So the first one I have here is medical and medical is getting $1. So let me fix this. $1 into medical. Next, I have Disney. Disney is getting three dollars. So one, two, three.
Next I have student loans. Student loans is also getting one dollar. Electronics. Electronics is getting 45. So two 20s and a five. So 20, 45. Gifts and Christmas is getting 60, so 150 and a 10. So in here we have 20 already. So 50, 70, 80. So next we have entertainment and entertainment is getting $3. So, should be the rest. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put that in here. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, there's a dollar in here already. Okay, so now we have four. One, two, three, four. Next, we have pets. Pets is getting $15. So, here's 15 Car maintenance, I believe, is also getting 15. So the 10 and the 5. Emergency is getting $5. And then travel, lastly, is getting 20. All right, so that is all of my sinking funds stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this all up and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so that was all for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you have any tips, questions, or anything, just go ahead and let me know down below. I'm so happy that like I was finally able to do this. I've been looking forward to it so much, but I'm so glad to start my savings because a lot of these sinking funds that I have like mean a lot to me, so I'm glad that I'm finally able to put some money towards them. Unfortunately, I can't tell you when the next um, cash envelope stuffing will be. I am still on the look, on the hunt for a job, um, and I have been doing Instacart and DoorDash lately. So hopefully, I get a big enough paycheck soon to go ahead and do this for you all. But anyway, if you enjoyed, make sure to go ahead and subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.